Hello, my crafty friends. It's Sharon Luska here in a different craft space. <laughs> I'm down south now, and we are celebrating today cards by Kendra. Kendra Sands Morgan has hit 1,000 subscribers, and I picked a video to case of hers that I think is going to go viral. Who doesn't love paper pads and all the wonderful things you can do? And she's a master when it comes to putting together cards from paper packs. Now she uses uh, six by six paper hat packs, believe, I believe, and some ephemera. I am using a 12 by 12 paper pad and uh, I will do a flip through of the paper pad on a future video, but I just wanted to show you the cards and how I interpreted uh, the cards that she put together myself with my stuff. So um, this particular card here I liked because of uh, the different layers, the circles and all the different elements and I thought it would look very cool that there was this one ephemera that was um, square and I punched it out with a circle punch and gave it a gold foil background or gold foil layer and thought it would look really cool to put together with all of this and a little bit of wood. The magnolia print here reminds me of, of course, Myrtle Beach. We have lots of magnolias in the yard down here. And uh, one of the things that I liked about this sketch too is that it has ribbon around it. And you guys know me and my ribbon. I love to do that. Now I did give it a try with some string here. <laughs> and once I tried the string, it was a big meh. <laughs> Not so much. It just took it down. So I decided that I would go ahead and go back to this black ribbon, which also ties together um, the magnolia print there. It makes more sense that there's uh, the black magnolia print when you put a little bit of black ribbon there. Now in an effort to try and honor Kendra and how she does her videos, she is a master at putting together videos where you can get card layouts and uh, lots of different ideas and she really keeps those videos moving and I tried so hard to keep mine going quickly today not overdoing the um, little bits of information and, and so on but uh, she is a master crafter when it comes to that so now I wanted to show you quickly too because she did use some uh, love from Lizzie peel offs if you don't have loves from Lizzie peel offs I do this little thing with my foiled papers you can do it with wrapping paper too that is a Xyron um, sticker machine refill and I don't buy the machine I only buy the refill all I do is take it and put it on the back of my foiled paper or wrapping paper and if there's a little tab sticking out that has sticky on it I'll use a piece of paper that I'm going to use in my project just to pull that extra sticky off why waste it it's good adhesive now you can see up here at this edge there's that little free bit that is the big thing to remember leave yourself a little tiny bit of uh, non-sticky backing there so that you're able to peel these apart easily once you've got that nice and tight up to the guide at the top of your paper cutter all you need to do is just pound out some cuts Move it a teeny tiny bit and keep it cutting and you will find that within that batch you've got some thicker ones, some thinner ones and you will be able to look through the pile and match up the different sizes. So I've got this all put together and I just put a you got this sentiment from the paper pad uh, on this card and I'm going to stick my bow on with a little glue booger from my ATG. I'm going to line the bow up so that it meets midway with that nice wooden strip and then I think this does need a little bit of bling and I've got these dollar store little gold baubles, nobles, gobbles, I don't know what they're called <laughs> but I think they're pretty cool. So that's my first card. So this is going to be the next card too that Kendra did. There was a whole pile, I think she did 16 in this video, so I just grabbed the first few. You guys are going to have to watch the video. I'll put the link down in the drop down box so that you can see it. And uh, that way then you can check out all of her great card making. She provides tons and tons of card sketches too and card sketch challenges. And uh, she really is great at using up paper pads. So this one I really, really liked, and uh, I didn't want that um, chevron or what is that fishtail cut to go up too high. And so what I did was just put a little dot of where I needed to cut this off at. And there's a little dog here that needs to be <laughs> taped up. <laughs> 
he has to bark at his food a million times before he decides he can eat it. And of course, he always decides to do naughty things when I'm busy doing a video. So I decided that this edge needed to be just ruffled. I wanted that white part gone because it just didn't look right. It was too much there. So I just wiggled my scissors along. I didn't even pay attention to what I was cutting because I knew it was going to be just fine. And the reason I haven't cut that top part off is, is that if you mess up your chevron, you've got more space to correct it if you don't cut it off. Now here's that trick again of putting a little bit of uh, ink on the back or a little bit of pen on the back of my stuff. And now I can line those marks back up and know that without even seeing the front of it, I've got them lined up perfectly. That is an awesome, awesome trick that saves a ton of time. So I'm just gonna fold that over and then I'm gonna add some of my homemade foam tape and it is just um, the Xyron sticker maker wrapped around uh, some of that packing foam sheeting and I'm sticking that into place here and then I decided that I would just wrap that top piece around I don't know why I like to do that because I, I think it's nicer than having that catchy edge of paper, paper there. <laughs> but this house is a chatty house too. I don't know if you can hear all the noise going on. but So I just get that onto my card base and then I'm going to put some bling on it. I uh, have a few gold hearts here and then I'm going to do a bunch more of those little gold knobs. And this is a hop. So uh, all of my friends that are on the hop, a lot of former Team Tinies, Kendra was a Team Tiny, and I think she was actually a Team Tiny leader too, where um, she kind of kept the whole gang on track for the period of time that she was in Team Tiny. If you ever want to check that out, uh, just put in hashtag Team Tiny and you'll find everybody from Team Tiny. Um, oh, and here's our next, <laughs> our next uh, sketch. <laughs> Anyways, you'll find everybody from Team Tiny and uh, you'll be able to see Kendra there and tons of other people. And you also might notice that there's a number of people that are on the hop today that were also form former Team Tiny members. And we all work so hard to grow our channels. And I have to say, I remember how hard it was to get to a thousand and how happy I was when I finally did it. And that is quite the accomplishment, Kendra. You have worked your butt off and boy, oh boy, am I proud of you, girl. Great job. <laughs> this is a crazy house, oh my goodness. Okay, I wanna show you a really cool trick here. If you need to cut some extra off of uh, your element and you want to keep the layered edge, what you wanna do is slide it down so that it's even on the end that you're gonna cut off and when you cut it off, you will have the exact same border that you started out with but with a, just a smaller element. So you can see how that maintained that perfect border. That is a great time-saving trick to be able to have. And uh, I just get this situated on here and then I'm gonna add me some more gold hearts. This was a no stamp thing too. I tried to honor that whole no stamp idea that Kendra did in her video too. And with us having gotten down here, it has been, I'm tired. It was a long drive and so many things have been just nuts. We came down here, there was no heat. We've had, uh, uh, problems with the internet and um, yeah it's just been all kinds of craziness <laughs> but anyways at least I'm here and this is our next um, this is my next card so I did something a little bit different Kendra's uh, card sketch there had three bands of pattern paper on it and an element so I got this paper here and I cut it so that there was three strips of um, stripes and I'm going to pop these stripes up. So what I'm doing is just taking and using um, this scoreboard to score along the edges of the stripe elements on this. They're supposed to be like um, Oxford cloth with stitching. And in between those stripes, what I'm gonna do is just take this burnishing tool and pop it out. So if you've got a cake decorator, like cake decorating tools, those will work too. Anything with kind of a bald end on it, even uh, sometimes the caps on some of those um, ballpoint pens have a, a tip to them. But And then I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of reinforcement along those um, edges. Oh boy, am I tired. <laughs> we just along those folded edges, scored edges, there we go, along those folded scored edges. 
And so I'm just gonna check it here against my work. Now what I did was took some foam tape and put it into the areas that I popped up and now I'm gonna put ATG in the areas that are not popped up. So what it's going to do is stick flat, pop up, stick flat, pop up, stick flat, pop up. I think something like that. Well, you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna peel these off. And then what I'm going to do so that it doesn't go all wonky on me is I'm gonna bend some of this back so I'm only sticking down one part at a time. And I'm gonna start with the flat part. So the first flat part's gonna get lined up and put on. And then we're gonna secure the bump up, the bump up and the edge. And then we're gonna take this and kind of squish it in and secure the flat part and the bump up. And so this is gonna give great dimension. Really hard to see here, but once you see the photos and if you saw it in, in real life, you'd be like, wow, that's cool. So now the other thing I did too was took some of my homemade foam tape <laughs> and put little tiny strips that would fit just in the um, flat parts of that element. So I'm gonna stick on a little gold heart and then put a little dot like the typewriter typed it out as the sentiment <laughs> and I'm gonna put these gold little elements on here and uh, you'll notice in the photos too I put a couple more dots after the heart and I have to apologize if this quality is bad I am I am doing all kinds of weird kind of recording stuff that's not working yet and I only had a day to kind of get this sorted out so <laughs> I will get better as things are going along here so this was a really great, really easy sketch to work with. I loved it. You're gonna have to go on and watch the video to see Kendra's card for this. Now I had this wood and sometimes you get um, pattern paper where you wanna use it as an element and I cut strips out of this wood, but it just wasn't vibrant enough or intense enough as an element on its own. Don't forget you can ink pattern paper elements. And then adding layers to your work makes a huge difference for your finished product. So if you have an element that you really want to be noticeable, don't forget putting some dimension and some different layers to build it up and give it some structure and some importance in your card makes all the difference for how your cards are going to look as a finished product and if you don't want bulky cards hey that's cool I don't either that's why I made myself some packing foam tape so that it's very very thin it's much lighter weight much lower profile than foam tape would be so I lined these up and you want to be careful when you're lining them up so that you're not running out as you lay them on there. And I'm going to put that piece over top. So I did glue this down and after I glued it down I decided that I really wanted to carry some gold into the background. So these are all the strips that I cut and you can see I was able to pull out two strips that are very much the same size. Now it does take a little bit of practice to cut those strips, but boy oh boy, is it worth it to have all of those in your stash. Of course, if you have Love From Lizzie uh, peel-offs, please use your Love From Lizzie peel-offs. Or if you've got some great gold tape, whatever you've got, but if that's a good hack for you, uh, it would sure be fun for you to use it. The keys on here also are from Scrappy Tales. The Scrappy Tales, um, book add-on or it might be the five by seven book so this is the last I think this is the last sketch last card that I did <laughs> so um, I missed hitting record for some reason and uh, I just took this element and backed it with um, some just regular colored cardstock and I took some of my little gold strips again and I put a little frame around it uh, so that it had uh, kind of blue cardstock and then gold strip and then blue, more blue cardstock before the element. So that it had, you'll see the detail in the photo. So once I get these all laid on here, and there's actually two pieces of paper that I stuck together f to layer this, you're not even going to notice the um, stick together part. And then what I do to miter it is I just snip the corners. And I have to tell you, once you get this stuck onto your project, nobody's gonna notice that you snip the corners. Now I put a little bit of that um, packing foam on the back, get that situated with the other elements on the background piece of pattern paper, and I stuck that hard on, and bada bing, there we go. That is going to be my video. Don't forget to hop along. If you haven't subscribed, I sure would love it if you would. Leave me a comment, ring that bell, and give me a thumbs up. And good luck for winning some of those prizes. Thanks so much. Bye.